It's about elevation in the ATL. It's the flight of Tony G. The Dirty Birds. And Dion High stepping to pay dirt. To rise up to the challenge. These are the battles. In Green Bay, the fans on the team. Lambo is more than a field. Lombardi is not just a trophy, but an icon. To carry on for Bart and Brett. This is Title Town. These are the Packers. Indelible Lambeau Field is the site for this Week 14 matchup between the Falcons and the Packers. Hello, friends, Jim Nance and Bill Sims on the scene. This matchup today is a unique one. It's about as much about being healthy as it is about winning the game as the postseason is looming. How about it? How important will it be to win here today? You know, Jim, I'll say this. Anytime you get in competition, no matter what the sport is, you want to win. Once the action starts, then it's all goal by all the players. Nobody knows this football team better than a head coach. So he knows what he has to do to get them ready for the playoffs. That's what's most important. What is going to make my team play at its highest level when the playoff starts? So that's what you want to try to accomplish here today. And you really, when you do that, you can't worry so much about the health. Let them play. It's a contact sport. Let's see how it works out. Pleased to bring in the third member of our broadcast team, Danielle Bellini, with the report from the sidelines. Thanks, Jim. We've got two hot teams ready to square off, and they both talked about being very excited about matching up today. They feel like this game is a good barometer for where they stand in the NFL, and so there's certainly an added layer of focus out here today as each side wants to continue their winning streaks. Guys, back to you. Thanks, Danielle, and now we'll go to the field. Falcons getting ready to kick it off. That'll be a touchback, and the ball will be placed at the point. Here comes a Super Bowl MVP quarterback, Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers was not asked to move as much as he does here in the NFL when he was in college, so we didn't know he was this dynamic, this quick a foot, and man, is he dangerous when he moves out of the pocket. First and 10, action fake. Trying to find an open man. OC Human Yura brings the quarterback down. I gotta blame the offensive line that time, giving up a sack early in a game like that. You cannot take chances. Don't overplay as an offensive lineman. If you do it, you give up a sack. The defense comes up with yet another sack. Well, when you get in situations like this, third long, you got to be smart on the offensive side. Yeah, I know you want to pick up the first down, but don't force it because if you do, it'll probably lead to a turnover. Come on third down, and they force the quick three and out. Well, when a quarterback gets sacked like that early in the game, it puts a, a shred of doubt in the offensive line and also puts a shred of doubt in the quarterback's mind. He's thinking, is this is how it's going to be all day long? This punt will be returned. Able to make the tackle about two yards shy of the first. Davis going to be leading the offense once again today. He connected on over 60% of his throws last week. First down, offense ready for the snap. The throw to the left. Game one. Here's our look at the Falcons offense. They're a hard team to get off the field because third down this season has gone their way, converting at a very high rate. Second down coming up. Three 
three-step drop. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Games 16. When you play a cover three defense, you protect against the deep pass, but the problem is all the underneath stuff is wide open, and the quarterback is taking advantage of that. Now, the next snap from inside the red zone, where a week ago they starred as a team. The leader in that secondary is Tremont Williams. Yeah, with uh, Charles Woodson gone, they need him to step up and really be spectacular. He has the ability to do that. He can cover anybody in the NFL one-on-one. -on -one. Davis is back in shotgun formation, escaping the pressure. He didn't look it in. That time, awesome job by... the sack by the quarterback gets out of trouble gets outside hey even though he doesn't get a completion good job avoiding the negative yards the falcons now on third down just a week ago they converted at a high rate in third has it touchdown Well, Jim, it's almost impossible to guard these guys nowadays as they go down the field. These wide receivers, they have feet like ballerinas, and even though you get tight coverage, they're so quick, they can get open and make the catches. The Packers are back deep, ready to return. They'll take it at the 20. Aaron Rodgers will be under center. First and 10, they'll go ground. He stacked up at that point. And now a look at the Packers offense. This is an efficient group. Last week, turning the football over just once. And the starting lineups have been brought to you by Papa John's, where you always get better ingredients, better pizza. Second and seven, looking for an open receiver on the right. Got to make that play. Here's how the Falcons defense, one of the... when it comes to sacks. Right now, ranked second in the league in quarterback sacks. Jones is lined up in the slot. Third and seven. Working that left side. That ball has been picked off. Muscles through the defender. That interception is strictly on the quarterback. When you make bad decisions, I don't care how good you can throw the football. The results... Usually it's going to turn into an interception. First down here. Davis got it in the gun. He'll fire it out to the left. Gain of 12. Jackson lined up in the backfield for about three. Hard to score a touchdown sometimes when you get in the red zone in the NFL. Why? Because the defense doesn't have to worry about passes down the field. The offense runs it. They are ready to get it done, and they do, and stop the offense for a short game. And Davis is going to take the snap from the shotgun. With two hands, he has touchdown. it. Touchdown, Falcons.
Well, you got a lead. Now you're able to go out there and drive down the field and score a touchdown. This changes how the other team is going to manage the game from here on out. The Falcons for the extra point. An extra point is good. The Packers are back deep, ready to return. Smartly takes a knee in the end zone. It's first down as they head to the line. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. Tackle down at the 22. Good job of the defensive line standing in there and fighting, and they hold the running back to a short game. This will be second down. Quarterback drops back, play action. Ball's going to be incomplete. A hit knocked the ball out. Well, they always say if you get your hands on the football, you got to make the kids. Yeah, right. The guy that made that rule up wasn't getting hit as he was trying to catch the football. Nice hit that time by the defender. The Falcons defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. Third and eight. I don't know what was more terrible. That was a terrible route. Terrible throw by the quarterback. Oh, and what a shot. It's incomplete. Brought down right at the 42. Punt team did a really good job getting down the field and finding that punt returner. He is able to get no yards after they kick. First down and 10. Hand off. Fights off the hit. When you're an offensive lineman and you can line up and just run the football straight ahead and pick up those kind of yards, you are going to get into the head of the defense. You're basically saying we're tougher than you are and we're just going to come right at you. Jackson's lined up as the single back. Gets away from the pressure. When you're on the defensive side, you just cannot lose containment even on a quarterback. That time they pressure him in the pocket. He takes out. There's no containment on the outside. He gets out there. Nobody open to throw it to. So he just picks up some big yards running the ball. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. That time, the pass is completed into double coverage, Jim, but the quarterback made a bad read, but these receivers, they are so good nowadays. That time, in double coverage, he went up and made the catch. It's like Bill Parcells said to me once about Mark Mavaro, a very talented receiver. He goes, remember, Sims, when he's covered, he's open. Nick Perry has the sack. Oh, my gosh. When you take those blindside hits, the first thing you think of as a quarterback when you get up, did somebody make a mistake? Or did I make the mistake not seeing that guy coming? Play action. Throwing now to his left. He's going to be tackled right around the 24-yard line. Nice job by the quarterback. Nobody open down the field. He throws it short. It does not get a first down, but it sure makes third down a lot easier. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. Third and 13. He's scrambling now. Throws to the right. That pass was hurry. Got to find ways to avoid sacks in the NFL. Two ways to do it. Run away from them because you got speed or good footwork inside the pocket. Nice job that time by the quarterback. Avoiding the sack and getting rid of the football. An empty possession for the offense. 
Well, that's the knock on this field goal kicker. When he misses them, he can kick it a mile. He just can't kick it straight. Johnson's a receiver in the slot. First and 10. Challenging the defenders to the right side, and it's incomplete. Just couldn't hold on to it after the hit. Well, it's so hard to do this nowadays to jar the football out of the hands of the receiver, but the defender did it that time. He hit him, that football came loose, incomplete pass. Second and 10, looking to the right side and throwing. Good job by the play caller that time, calling for the short pass. Even though it comes up short of the first down, it opens up many things that you can do on third. You can run a reverse, draw plays, screen plays, or if you want, you can still throw it down the field. Good job by the corner that time, knocking the football down on the throw down the field by the quarterback. That will go down as a pass defense by him. Good job. looking to make a difference. Running play went for 11. Steven Jackson lined up in the backfield. Dropping back three. Looking to scramble. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Tackle down right around the 47. Falcons signal for the timeout. And that's the first one they've used. down and now on first down but go back to the air gets away from the pressure looks to his left oh that could have been intercepted but he couldn't hold on bad job that time by the quarterback he misses the receiver on the slant route when you throw the slant route you got to throw it right into the stomach of the receiver so it's easy for him to make the catch and he can protect himself also throws it in the end zone touchdown Got to take advantage of situations like this. Not often in the NFL do you get somebody this wide open. Good job by the receiver. Nice job by the quarterback seeing him. And what do you get? Easy touchdown pass. Inside of the uprights. The Packers, I'm sure, wanted to avoid giving up points on that drive just before the half. But now they'll have even a bigger hole to dig themselves out of in this one. The scores, 21 to 0. No return. The ball's coming out to the 20. This will most likely be the final play before the half ends. So that's going to do it for the first half. Falcons are up in this one. Danielle Bellini is there with the latest from the sidelines. I caught up with Coach Smith during halftime. His team has the lead, and he told me he's proud of the way his guys have battled it out there. He said it hasn't been pretty the whole time, but his players have been resilient, and that's a major factor in the score. Hopefully his players will keep it up here in the second half, guys. Back to you. Danielle, thank you very much. Now we'll go to the field. Let's go. Let's go. 
Steven Jackson lined up in the backfield. The third quarter begins with this play. Nice piece of running by Steven Jackson. Boy, after watching that long run, I'm winded. That was a nice job by the running back. Good job up front, sustaining the blocks. Offense got to be happy with that. Jackson's hand at the football. Well, a short gain on the run that time by the offense. When you're running football team, listen, there's going to be a lot of ugly plays that don't work. You just got to keep running it. shotgun and he's going to be brought down this defense they are definitely not faint of heart are they Jim they will bring the pressure good blitz that time and they take the quarterback down and Gonzalez is moved from the tight end position to the slot scrambling out of the pocket catch is made good piece of tackling nowadays we see it all the time don't we quarterbacks break and contain Stepping up in the pocket, getting outside, and more and more we're seeing uh, these guys are getting better at throwing the football while on the run. And they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. And it's now second down and five after running it on first down. Incomplete and almost intercepted. That well, was an incomplete pass that time against cover two, the two deep safeties. And you really want to throw the football down the middle or deep down the sidelines. That time the quarterback didn't do that, and that's why it was incomplete. You talk about controlling the flow of the game. Another first down, and the drive keeps on going. Yeah, why not? The defense, they're just sitting over there. They're taking the hits and not even fighting back. It's a terrible job by the defense. And it's incomplete. Uh, take no chances when the football is thrown in the end zone. Don't go for an interception sometimes. You can kick the ball up in the air. Hey, don't do that. Knock it down. Here it's a second and 10. Man, a run right up the middle. What that run does, it just puts the offense in a good situation. So a good, positive run. That last play was a run. Third down coming up. Davis standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. Running away from the pressure. The tackle was made, but the first down is picked up. Well, that was an awesome job that time by the quarterback getting out of the pocket. He keeps the play alive and able to throw it down the field for a nice completion. That is play number 10 on this drive. They deck him in the backfield. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. Mounting a serious drive. Second and 11. In trouble now. Set up screen. Here comes the training staff as we've got a player down on the field. That's a good job. He's able to get up and get off the field. And my guess is he's going to be OK. A little bit of a scare there, no doubt about it. That makes everybody nervous. Davis is going to take it from the gun on the run. And here he goes. Pushes aside one tackler. This has been a nice little drive by the offense. They started out in bad field position. Look at them now inside the red zone. Let's see if they can pay it off. Play after play after play here on this drive. First and goal. And they sack the quarterback. This long drive continues. Jackson's going to secure the handoff. And you can see how they fared in the red zone to this point, which is brought to you by Verizon. And now getting set for the 15th play of the drive. Third and 20, going to take off with it. White's there to catch the ball that had a lot of heat on it. When you start out in bad field position, it's up to the coach to get you out of it. What a job by the coordinator. They have marched down the field. Now they're inside the red zone. Let's see if they can score. Nickel formation for the defense here. Fourth down, goal to go. Escaping the pressure, Tony, touchdown.
The head coach decides he wants to be the aggressor in this situation on fourth and goal. He goes for it. Nice play call that time. And the point after is good. The Packers now have even more work to do to get back into this one. Scores 28 to 0. The returner opts for the touchback, and the offense will begin at the 20. The defense comes out of the nickel. First and 10. He'll throw it over the middle. Just had to avoid the sack. Incomplete. Good job by the cornerback. Beat the wide receiver. He is all over him, and it makes it easy for him to swat down the throw by the QB. Finley is a tight end, but lined up in the backfield for this play. Second down and 10. Pass is made, and it's incomplete. The hit jars the ball out. The defense comes out right, in the nickel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trying to work that left side. Of course, it's a three and out. Well, these are the kind of throws in the NFL, Jim. You just take for granted that if it's open, you are going to hit it. But the quarterback makes a big mistake, leads the receiver too far to the inside, and it goes incomplete. Ball is jarred loose. Bumble's picked up, and now he's taking it back the other way. We reach the two-minute warning. This kicking team, one of the best in the NFL. When they kick off, they are able to get down the field about as fast as any defense I have ever seen. Then the big hit, the fumble, and they fall on top of it. Well, it was called one way on the field, but now inside of two minutes, it was a booth review, and the call is overturned. I think if you left it up to the coaches, they'd like the, the booth to review them all, Jim, because put all the pressure on the officials in the NFL. That's what it's there for, to overturn bad calls on the field. Going to lose yards here. Got to give the defense some credit on first down. There's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. Second down coming up. Trying to make something happen. Throws the pass. The tackle's going to be made, but he's beyond the first down marker. This pass defense gives up more completions in the NFL than any other coverage by far. Yeah, they're stopping the deep passes down the field. Four guys deep, but nobody's there to stop all the ones going across it. Very nearly intercepted. That time, the man-to-man -man coverage won. The quarterback had to make a perfect throw. He didn't. Incomplete pass. 